when I'm working on arrangement and I'm, I have those moments of listening, I try to be very sharp on what is happening here, over there, what can the hi-hat do, maybe we can stop this and that. And yeah, it's really worth it sometimes mute also elements so the focus shifts to another one because you know all the elements we created here are very important that's why we took them we choose them and sometimes they are getting out of the focus because there's your attention is pulled in by filter opening on this element so you forget ah okay we have actually another baseline coming here and there so yeah, it's so important to play around with that and never forget that it, sometimes you, you can mute things or whatever. So let's yeah, let's just try. You more, I mean, you saw I put the decay down on this kind of small moment here. See what happens if we mute the perk loop, for instance. kind of like it because we have it in the backhand to bring it back in again and that that's something nice because I even don't miss it because my attention is as I said before somewhere else and I also realize this kind of mini break I created here maybe we can even stop this loop before and let's see what's happening. <laughs> clap is stopping here and we bring back the loop so we don't fall into a big hole um, in a subtle way I want to add that's what I'm doing a lot instead of using crashes and a lot of uh, effects we can for instance run it into a big reverb I show you Try to give it even more. And I'll do the same before where we stop this loop.
bit too much, but it's actually nice. I open this delay.